guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing another music video scene redraw and i'm going to be choosing 17's ready to love because i i really 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 like this um music video as well as the song and just the entire album so if you haven't listened to 17's your choice album or ready to love i'll leave it in the description so you guys can take a listen to at least the music video or um, ready to love because i really love the music videos like aesthetic and like a lot of the shots are very pretty and like the members were styled very nicely and i would really like to draw them so i was gonna draw um a certain scene from the music video teaser but i think this shot of vernon's a little bit better so it's basically him resting against these flowers that are on i guess like it's resting against a is it like a lavender or like lilac colored truck or um van but basically it's just him covered with foliage basically and it's so pretty it's so dang pretty so i really want to re like redraw this and i might be setting myself up for failure by making myself draw all these flowers but i'm gonna try my best to draw this fairly accurately um so i won't get too lost when painting but yeah so let's just get started this is a 19 by 20 by 1080 canvas which is usually the sizes of i think hd or like 1080p music videos or videos on youtube so that's what's the size i'm going to be using i do apologize that i might have to cut out a lot of stuff when i'm drawing just because i think me drawing the foliage for this is going to be very painstakingly long so i might have to cut out a lot in order in, like in order to show majority of the process right i drew vernon last time for what music video did I do? Oh my? Was it Oh my? Where he was covered with the like the green background and stuff, which looked really pretty. But I'm gonna do my best to draw him here as well. I think Vernon's like one of the harder members for me to stylize. But obviously I'm gonna be listening to the like Seventeen's album the entire time I'm um, working on this. So yeah, highly recommend it. I really really like Heaven's Cloud. Game Boy is very cute, and anyone like I love that song. Anyone's so good. Wave? Perfect. Like, the vocals in Wave and just like the beat I absolutely love. And what's the other one called? It's like same... Same dream, same mind, same night. Absolutely beautiful. I I feel like vocal unit songs are always like one of my favorites because I love ballads and like slower paced songs. I just don't listen to them as much as some other songs but they're like my favorite songs to listen to. So I am drawing the music video in my style, so I am going to stylize a few things. But I'm more concerned about, one, drawing Vernon at least somewhat accurately, two, um, all the foliage. And I kind of have um, some ideas of little sticker sets and stuff I want to do for either the unit song or for Ready to Love. And Ready to Love, like, the aesthetic is very much, like, up my alley. <laughs> So I'm not gonna get exactly the same expression because I don't really want to squish his eyes too much because he's almost squinting-ish in one eye. I think I'm trying to give him more of a defined chin. I'm gonna keep forgetting that name. Same dream, same mind, same night. Same dream, same mind, same night. Same dream, same mind, same night. I'm gonna forget that sequence. <laughs> so even if you're not like a fan of Seventeen, hopefully me showing you guys this process is still like somewhat interesting. <laughs> Like I said, Vernon's like one of those members I struggle to draw, so I apologize if this looks like not Vernon. Also, Dogyam in this music video. Perfect. <laughs> looks wonderful. Sungwon in this music video I think looks absolutely fantastic. He looks great in all 
black with that bluish hair, but also Jonghan. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when I watched it for the first time, it's like I was so tempted to just pause and just stare at Jonghan because like he looks so nice, like beautiful, like striking blonde hair that's long and flowy and a little messy, and then he's wearing this beautiful like blue outfit. Looks a little cross-eyed, which means we centered this one too much. You can see he's looking free quarters, so his eyes shouldn't be directly in the center if he's looking at us. Looks a little wonky flipped, so... Okay, let's look a little bit to to one side. Wasn't the worst looking flip. I'm gonna do my best to look as closely as I can to this. I'm gonna move my mic for a second so that the audio changes. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just so excited. I love hearing Ready the Love. Also June. June, 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 June. June in the music video. Absolutely stunning. I think they picked the right hair colors for the members. They look phenomenal. <laughs> Especially with the styling of the music video and just like, I don't know if it's like the, the color tone of the whole music video is very pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna regret doing the flowers. Let's start with this side first. So this looks like marigolds? I do apologize for my lack of knowledge of being able to recognize flowers. <laughs> Hopefully Minghao gets better. I might have to fix these more when we color, which Never say that, because <laughs> I feel like I'm always setting up myself for failure every time I say that, because I get lazy and I don't actually do what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna put Ready to Love on repeat for a little bit. I always do this with the title track. I'm gonna have regrets. So, let's place Vernon at least where he's supposed to be. He's pretty much at the center. He's a little bit, I think, more towards this side. Just gonna put Ready to Love on. Sorry, anyone. Oh, news part! Oh. I love his soft, like, deeper voice when he sings. It's absolutely beautiful. These flowers are gonna look janky. Because I don't think I've drawn a marigold in so long. I think I said this before, that Mingyu's vocals, or not his vocals, his solo song, way back when, is like one of my favorites. And I always feel like his vocals are like unappreciated. Just because I mean like he is part of the hip hop unit and he usually raps. But I feel like whenever they have singing in the hip-hop unit. Either they grab a different member, or everyone's singing, or it's Mingyu. <laughs> I think it's like one serotonin boost to another, so I was like really happy when the Genshin update was, because I really wanted Barbara's summer outfit, because she looks absolutely adorable. And now that like the event is pretty much done, like you know, you cleared out the shop and stuff. Like, I mean, you could keep playing jumpy dumpty things, but we could still do that. There's not really much for me to do at the archipelago anymore. But then as soon as that excitement kind of dies down a little bit, 17 comes out. Boom. <laughs> Super excited again. I think I just got a text message saying that we're eligible to get the second dose for a vaccine, so that's exciting. I'm not drawing them very accurately, so from my picture, like from my own drawing, probably doesn't really look like marigolds. Actually, let's shrink them all. So I just realized that this edge of the flower that I'm doing right now is not supposed to touch the edge. I might have to look up some flower- like pictures of the marigolds. Just generic ones, because what are these? So on this side is like a truck or the van. I think it's a van, right? Because Dino is like on top of the van. So just like the other ones, I think I'm gonna paint the background first. So in this case, I think it's gonna be this the truck. Maybe we can do the flowers, or we do Vernon first and do everything behind. But I think we have to do the truck first, just because 
Um, it's not entirely in focus. Gonna do where the hem of his shirt is, like the collar. I think the last few days I was like, in playings. I think it's Flashback? I think Flashback is actually my favorite song on that album. <laughs> Should really search up the lyrics for this one day. Because it's not the same aspect ratio because of how thin the black bars are. Do we want to put the black bars? I don't really want to. Because you are my escape. Give me purpose. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again. So usually when I do these bunches of flowers, I think it's easier to block stuff in when you actually color everything. Because I don't know how to like, make these shapes make sense, just via the lines, because there's so many things overlapping. Has it been like an hour? Yeah, it's been- wait. 50 minutes. Still doing okay. In terms of time, because I don't want to spend too long on sketching. Okay. So, I think we have the general gist of how I want to- how this laid out. So I'm gonna do is duplicate this, hide this, so you can have this as a backup. Change this to multiply. I'm gonna make this fairly saturated, but also fairly light. Because I kind of want the softness. There's a fair amount of contrast in this, so maybe you don't have to go as light. Um, then I'm gonna add background color. So I'm gonna add the background color to be closer to like that purple color that is found in that truck. Not the right color. Yeah, I think what they do to color all together. I'll just try my best to render everything in the background before I start coloring in Vernon because I forgot I put the same sketch on this layer too. So for me to get rid of the lines is going to be a little bit difficult. And for some reason, the camera makes it look very blue for you guys. So we have like really light flowers over here, almost white. of yellow. I'm gonna try to push the values a little bit more just because I did say there is a little bit more contrast in some areas and I haven't really put that in. I'm gonna make this a lot darker. I'm gonna lean it towards purple, like more reddish. to fix this. Yeah, it's not gonna look really accurate. I don't- like, these are supposed to be like longer rectangles. I mean, kind of looks like a truck, right? The essence of a truck. Here. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna make it dark blue rather than black. But there is like something over here. Bring back this orange. I missed some flowers over here, but we can just indicate it with color. And then we can do the rest of these guys. So, yeah, the leaves are very like cool, cool toned. Probably gonna do some 
blend modes on the layers so we can get some values in quicker so that we can focus more on um, cleaning everything up so that things read a little bit easier. And then we can make these ones yellow. Okay, so now let's work on Vernon. So it's more of a pink undertone to his skin. Go even more pink. That's why I'm saying like it looks like this has much of a cooler lighting. He has like a more prominent like um, eyebrow ridge bone thing. Because his eyes are set in like a little bit deeper. That his chin's a little bit more prominent here. I'm gonna have to soften out his jaw a little bit. They're fairly thin at the edges. Okay, we have his eyes. Sure, not pure white either. I, I think I just want to avoid using pure white. Did I use pure white for this? Fairly close. I mentioned this before, but usually when I draw 17 fan art, I almost never give them brown eyes, just because I've always drawn them with brown eyes. And I feel like I like matching the eye color a little bit closer to whatever the color palette may be. I usually leave them quite dark. Sometimes I, I think I did yellow before. For Wanu or is it Zhonghan? So I'm kind of using like a dull bluish purple color. Do the rest of the shadows first. It's not like a super strong light source here. Like most of it seems quite like diffused. Let's give him like cooler brown hair. Color in those thick brows. Some warmth to it. Because it is my style, so like you can still take creative liberties even if you're doing fan art based off of a reference. Yeah, there's no direct light source so his hair isn't going to be as defined but I am going to because I love coloring hair to make it shiny but I just won't go too overboard in terms of the intensity of the highlights. I'm going to have to change the shape of his ear. His ear's a little bit on the like a longer side and it's pressed against his head a little bit more than how I drew it. Let's erase Some of these lines. <sighs> Make a new layer. I'm gonna set this to multiply. I'm gonna try to pick an appropriate shadow color. I don't know if I'm gonna go um, more blue or more purple. Why is this not setting to multiply? Jeez, this might be okay. Purple might work the best. I'm gonna add one more overlay there. how this looks. I really like it like this. It's a lot brighter, which I think matches a bit well. But you guys can't see. This might work the best. Um, 
So I'm gonna have troubles with the actual colors of this. So let me do this first. Put in some of the yellows to these what I think are marigolds. Okay, I think this is the best we can do. So I'm actually going to lock this layer. Put more of a lighter purple in the flowers, and then a darker purple in some other areas so that we have some areas of contrast and it'll be easier for me to pick colors that might match a little bit more easily and then with the overlay layer kind of makes everything super bright so i'm gonna dim it down just a tad bit and hopefully this color kind of matches a little bit closer to the music video okay let's merge everything down so you like to merge in order so i'm gonna do the sketch first overlay and then that so this is this is everything <laughs> I'm gonna start with Vernon, then we're gonna work, like, kind of work our way outwards. Oof, I'm nervous. <laughs> His lip color is much more intense, but I think it's because I put that overlay layer on it. It doesn't really look that intense. At least a little bit smoother transition. I hate drawing teeth, I think. I think I need to look up the lyrics for anyone. I actually don't know what they're saying because it sounds like English a good chunk of it, but I actually don't know what they're saying. I really like the song Anyone though. It sounds so good. I'm thinking like, depending on my set that I want to do for this music video, because I usually do um, 17 sticker sets for every comeback if I can. I'm still behind. I still have to finish up the Hitori Janai and I'm probably going to put the flower one that I had prior on the back burner because I honestly don't have time for it. My friend. She knows what's up. See, if I'm using more of a blue instead of the purple, the blue reads more green. I'm not enjoying that. Well, there technically is green. I feel like I want to get rid of this. Try to reshape his jaw again. I'm like fixated on his jaw. Sounds very weird though. I feel like I'm rusty. So you should I don't think I have this much troubles with the folds. Okay. So there is a fold here which I actually didn't notice. Lighten it up a little bit. What you want to do is grab this. I'm gonna go like long periods of not talking. I feel like that's why like whenever I do fan art, something like this. It's usually not for a video. Partially so I don't have to- I don't feel like I need a rush. Cause what, what am I gonna do with like six hours of footage? <laughs> I mean I think we're at- we're at like what? Three hours? Two hours- we're at- what? <laughs> we're only at two hours. Maybe my back's is bad. So this is actually darker. The other ones I made lighter but I guess this one's more- it's not facing the same. Hello? Procreate. Okay. I'm actually excited to do this. 
That's really dumb. See, I feel like I keep swapping between, like, my interpretation versus the reference, and then now that I'm rendering it, I want to follow closer to the reference. Put a little bit of a shadow. I think it's supposed to be a chain, but I am not drawing a chain. <laughs> doing a lot more 17 fan art maybe for videos or I'll just do them in my own time yeah a good chunk of the rest of those videos literally is gonna be me trying to do the background. Just the majority of this is flower, but it's a good chunk of this, which is this bus truck van thing. It's a van. It's a van. It's definitely a van. It's kind of like highlight. <clears throat> Losing my voice. So there is like little lines going across. I'm just going to fill this in with more of a darker color because I think the lines are done with more with like not done with they are the reflective part of the glass which should be kind of like this yellowy these lines going down like this can make it a little less saturated and it's kind of like these little I guess these are bolts probably to the edge Let's like brighten up some areas. So it kind of looks like the light's hitting it. This blue. Okay, so kind of my mistake. I didn't realize that. Um, I'm gonna have three different sources of audio for this, but I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I was kind of going on and off with recording. And I guess every time I unplug my earphones, it makes that as the main source, which makes um, my webcam program not recognize my microphone. And this is why we have such weird janky audio for the rest of the footage for the most part. So I'm probably gonna talk a little bit more after um, I do one more check in. But I was initially going to have like ASMR sound for this portion just because so I could focus on just painting the flowers and not having to need to talk. But hopefully that this will suffice. I had to cut out quite a bit just because I think the recording was about 7 hours and like 14 minutes or something like that. So it was quite lengthy and I didn't want to edit down 7 hours of footage. So I just kind of pick and chose um, what videos or recordings to use and kind of splice them up so it could be at least a little bit more um, manageable for myself but also I think easier to watch for you guys so I'll be right back Okay, it's been like a few hours later, but I 
I haven't worked on this for that much longer, I don't think. I think we're, like, close to four hours. Yeah, we're four hours now. Um, I just was working on the flowers, like, on and off while taking a break and doing other things. But I think I'm going to keep coming back in and out and checking in. So if you see more lulls of maybe just music or something, then that's the reason why. Because I think when I start rendering the flowers and the leaves and the foliage, um, I go silent. So there's not much to talk about. So I think I'm just gonna not talk during this portion and just let either the sound of the iPad and a little bit of music play through, or, and then pretty much I'll just keep checking in. So I actually don't remember exactly where we left off, but here I'm just going through and doing the rest of the foliage, the flowers, the leaves, and all that jazz. I did the majority of the truck, I think, off screen. There's still quite a bit to kind of fix up, but I don't think I show a lot of it in the video. So um, the lighting changes a lot because I kind of started working in the early afternoon and then it kind of went all the way up until like sometime in the night just because I've been working on it kind of on and off throughout the day and that's kind of why the lights like this as well as I was just not paying close enough attention to the light source and I thought it would be okay just because I was going to pair it up with the ASMR sounds but because the mic wasn't picking up anything um, we kind of have to scrap the whole thing but I think for the most part, I had a lot of fun working on this and there's a lot to learn in terms of how I wanted to do the process because I think it was going to be better if I actually did the background on a separate layer like I mentioned and put majority of the flowers and the foliage on the background layer and did some of the petals or some other flowers that were grouped together kind of on the same layer that Vernon is on so that everything that is in the front can stay in focus and then everything in the back I can just kind of blur it. I'm going to show you guys a different way to overcome that just in case if you did do something similar to what I did and you maybe you still want to blur some of the areas there is still a way to do this so yeah um but for the most part we are just tackling pretty much all the flowers and let me check really oh no Okay, so basically Camtasia decided to crash on me, so I lost the rest of that footage, which is, or not footage, the audio, that's why I was saying like, oh no, but um, as you can see, I was kind of doing a quick check-in for you guys where I was showing you guys what my current progress was, so I had the majority of the flowers in the upper right hand corner that I had to finish, so I'm just going to jump right back in and try to finish up as much as I can, and I did cut a lot, like a lot of this out because a lot of it was quite repetitive, it was just me um, picking and choosing colors, picking highlight colors to make the petals look like they're popping forward and then picking shadow colors to make sure the petals look like they're curving a little bit and basically all that jazz um and this taking my time darkening and lightening different parts of the flowers to give them a little bit more dimension i did get a little bit lazy which is why i kept saying like in the previous part of the video where i shouldn't rely on the coloring to fix things so yeah okay so here i'm showing you guys how i'm gonna overcome the blurring aspect where i wanted the background to be a little bit blurred compared to the foreground so um oh i actually have to delete that layer so i deleted that layer first but what i'm going to show you guys is that um, once you complete the entire image all you're going to do is duplicate the whole image so that's what i'm going to show you guys if i remember how to do it and then on the upper one i'm going to go to gaussian blur you're going to go to layer and you're just going to change it to whatever intensity that you want the background to be. So I'm doing it up to, I think it was like two or something like that. And I'm going to take the eraser and erase what I don't want to be blurred. So because of how I have the layers set up, um, anything underneath will show up if I erase it. So in this case, um, my fully painted and sharper image is on the bottom. So as long as I'm erasing, it kind of pops through. So I'm kind of like picking and choosing a few things to put to the foreground. I just wanted the mostly the things either in the very front. So like that orange flower in the very front as well as the, like the van and the stuff on the upper right hand corner why well, i wanted them to be blurred so that's why i kind of didn't touch them with the eraser and it kind of gives a little bit better of a depth of field um for the whole thing just because i don't want everything to be in focus and that's why i would have liked if i actually made the background on a separate layer so i could have done that more easily and i could have made the background 
more intense if I wanted to, if I separated everything. I'm just gonna pop my signature at the very bottom. Um, I don't show it, but I put a, I duplicate this layer, I put it onto multiply, I changed it to purple, and then um, basically use Gaussian blur again to kind of fade it out, and it kind of gives this nice little halo around for my signature to pop out. So I'll show you guys that the difference between the sharper edges and the blurred edges by doing that method, and hopefully that'll help you guys um, get kind of that blurred effect for the background if you accidentally did what I did and made everything on the one layer. Um, there's still a workaround, so that's good. Um, I don't keep this one, actually, so I went back and actually redid the blurring just because I didn't like how many things were actually popping forward and how many things were blurred. It just looked too inconsistent, so yeah. I'm yelling at myself to make sure I, I tell you guys this because I think I had a feeling that the audio was going to be botched and that I'm going to show you guys the last 30 seconds of the video, which is the full process. So luckily, um, I'm able to show you guys the 30 second version of this as well as the aspect ratio of the video. It just fits perfectly for YouTube videos. So this one works quite nicely. In the future, I'll see if I'll put the um, full time lapse at the very end for every video. But yeah, this is seven hours and 14 minutes of work and hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint this and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.